In this episode, you will learn how you can use the LM317T and how you can make it an adjustable voltage regulator. Hello guys, welcome back to another episode at IB Electronics World and today we are going to discuss about LM317 which is an adjustable three terminal positive voltage regulator and it is capable to supply a different DC output or a variable output with a maximum current at 1.5 amps. Of course, you cannot use, as you can see in my design here, you can not use just only the LM317. You need to use some extra components, but I will go through that right now. Very important, actually, is the two resistors, one potentiometer here and one uh, resistor here. So they are required to set the output voltage. So practically, the R1 is a, a feedback resistor, and the potentiometer you can use uh, a 10 K, let's say potentiometer and you will be okay with that and then the, the, the feedback resistor should be from 220 to 510 ohms. Very important is the, the capacitor in the input, it's just a filter so you, you can use uh, from 0.1. So actually if you if you go into the data sheet you will see exactly the values that you need to use uh, for the input and the output capacitors, but I will explain why we use them. So we use them just for filtering for the input and the output capacitor, it, it is uh, used in order to improve the transient responses. And then it's an optional capacitor here, but I have used it, is if you are going to use, uh, so, so actually it's just an improvement of the, this design and, um, and it's used to improve the ripple rejection. So actually it prevents of the ripple as the output voltage is adjusted higher. And then it's mandatory to use the D2 diode. It's again a protection diode. It goes with uh, this capacitor here. So if you are not going to use that capacitor, you don't need to use that diode here. Similarly with the D1, so the D1 it's again protection diode and it's provides a low impedance discharge path to prevent the capacitors from discharging into the output of the regulator. You can find the formula here in order to do the calculations and find out the, the V out, but you can run also the simulation as I did before you implement the, the hardware. So if I will run the simulation, you will see that when uh, the potentiometer is equal to zero, the output is 20, almost 22.5. And you can see the current flow is around 21, let's say, microamp. And then if you just increase to the maximum, let's say 100%, you will see that the output is 1.25. And you can see that it's an, we can adjust it by just changing the potentiometer value. It's quite good and you can use, for instance, if you have a power supply which provides 9 or 12 volts as a standard or 24 and you can use that simple design in order to, to have an adjustable power supply. The main disadvantage of this LM317, it can be the voltage drop at the output or lost as heat across the regulator. So practically I will explain what this means. So. If you can see in my simulation that when it's 0%, the output at the max value, which is 22.40, and the input is 24 volts, so practically we have 1.6 voltage drop. Practically, this is called dropout, and also due to this dropout, the voltage, some form of the heat sinking, is required. So we need to use a sink heat in order to cool the regulator, otherwise it will get very hot and probably it, we are going to burn the component or it's going to shut down. But let's see in the hardware. So going back to hardware, 
As you can see here, we have connected uh, DLM uh, 3170, and we have the capacitors for the input, output, and the adjust stable, um, and we have the resistor here. We have the 10K uh, potentiometer, and we have our multimeter here, and as you can see, uh, um, I supply with uh, 12 volt uh, the input. Let's go and measure that. So as you can see, it's 12.28, and the output here, it will be 11. As I said, we have some losses, and by changing the potentiometer, you will see that the voltage has started dropping. So we can just halfway through. And then by maximize it, you will see that we have 11 point something. So if I will increase our input, let's say to 20 volts, and again by changing the potential meter position, you will see that the output goes to 1.34. That was it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, please subscribe and share and I will see you in the next episode.